So yes, I really did walk away from corporate life after hearing these seven words. Once I heard this, I had a reality check of like, uh, what am I doing with my life? Hey guys, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. Shout out to Capitalize for sponsoring this one. They can roll over your old 401ks, but more on that later. Now those seven words that I heard was, we're not curing cancer, it's just paper. Yeah. I just thought that this was a very interesting way to look at things because at that time, I was 23 years old and working at my very first job at an advertising agency. And I held a position as an assistant account executive where I was proofreading different design concepts for flea and tick medication boxes and point of sale materials for salespeople to go into veterinarian offices and sell flea and tick medication. Now that can be meaningful work for some. However, when I heard those seven words come out of the mouth of my coworker, when I was very frantic and thinking about, okay, I have to get these materials out the door or this client is going to be ticked off and I'm going to lose my job. She turned around and looked at me and said, Justine, we're not curing cancer. It's just paper. And when I thought about all of the direct mailers and things that I get in the mail and how often I just scan through it and toss them in the recycling bin, I thought, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? And it was at that moment where I made a commitment that I was going to better myself on my career path and find this journey of what am I supposed to do with my career? How am I supposed to make money and ultimately live my life? So to give you more of the backstory, I worked at that ad agency for just over a year and I was making $33,000 per year in the Midwest. And I thought to myself, okay, I think I can do better if I just make a leap to a different job. I worked with a recruiter and I ended up getting a very similar position, only this time it was inside of a corporate company that were selling financial annuities, I think. But the place was called Creative Marketing. It's not called Creative Marketing anymore, but how confusing is that? A place that's called Creative Marketing, but they sell financial annuities. Anyway, I was doing about the same type of work except less amount of work and I was getting paid $40,000 for that job. And about nine months into it, I realized that this was not going to cut it, that I was actually really bored in my job even though work-life balance was a lot better than the ad agency. And so at that time I was dating my husband and he was still in grad school and convinced me to move back to our old college town where I ended up working for the university as a marketing manager doing different marketing materials for the university, such as recruiting materials or doing marketing efforts for local departments on campus. And at that job, I was making $41,000. So every single time, even though I was still trying to figure out what I was passionate about, because I knew what I was good at, but I just didn't know what I loved. And so I think for me in this video that I'm sharing with you is not only to share my career path, but also to help you figure out when it's time to maybe walk away from corporate life or to find something else that you're passionate about and maybe switch jobs. Fast forward to 2015, I moved out to San Diego with my husband now, and I was working in the marketing department of a cybersecurity company. Not passionate about cybersecurity at all, but it was a job and it was something different. I thought I could learn something new. Now I was offered a full-time position with them at $71,000, more money than I had ever made before. And yet there was still something that was lingering. It still felt like to me, instead of we're not curing cancer, it's just paper. Maybe it was, it's just an ad campaign, it's just an email campaign. And so even though I wasn't thinking about, oh, I need to cure cancer, I just took that as what kind of work do I find impactful and meaningful to me? 
And so it was at that point where I really started to capitalize on the skills that I had built up through the course of my short career. At that point, I was only four, five, six years into my career and really wondering, okay, I know what I'm good at. And I also had this incredible personal finance journey on the side where I paid off $35,000 in student loan debt on a very small income, $37,000 income in two and a half years. Is there something there? Can I do something with that? I'd be tempted with that thought, but I ended up going the marketing consulting route and I ended up being hired on as an independent contractor to various local companies in San Diego. I even was approached by one of my clients for a full-time job working at a NetSuite consulting company making upwards of over $105,000 per year. This was more money than I had ever thought of making in my life and I thought, wow, that is so tempting and also recognizing it is a consulting firm for NetSuite. Nothing passionate about that for me. But every single time as I was figuring out what was working, what wasn't working, I made sure to take the best parts of that old job with me and that included my old 401k. In fact, let me tell you a little bit more about this great tool that I found. 401k rollovers historically have been tedious and intimidating. To say that the process is complicated is an understatement. Think about all the things that you have to do. You have to contact your old provider, sometimes contact the old employer, fill out complicated forms, sometimes even mail a paper check. It's a mess. That's where Capitalize comes in. Capitalize is an independent platform, so independent of any type of brokerage firm or investment company who helps you roll over your old 401k into an IRA for free. With Capitalize, you can let the experts do all the heavy lifting, easily compare your rollover options, do everything mostly online, and it's free. So why would you want to roll over an old 401k? Perhaps you don't wanna leave it with an old employer. Plus that old 401k plan could have really high fees and limited choices on what you can invest in. Don't know where your old 401k is located? Capitalize uses proprietary technology to locate 75% of the 80 million 401k accounts in the US. Now, Capitalize may make a referral fee based off of the IRA that you might choose that's listed on their website, but the choice is totally up to you. Look, there are 24 million forgotten 401k accounts that add up to $1.35 trillion. That's so much money. So don't let one of your old 401k accounts be one of those. Sign up for Capitalize for free using the link in the description box below. Okay, once I figured out that that NetSuite consulting firm was not right for me either, and I was still kind of doing the motions, I had done uh, the hardest part, which was leaving corporate entirely and working for myself for my marketing consulting business, but it still wasn't fulfilling because the work that I was doing, I wasn't passionate about and I didn't feel like it had an impact. My brain kept going back to the money side of things and personal finance where I could see as I was helping out friends or family, I could see the real impact of my coaching or my advice really help other people. And in 2017, that's when Debt Free Millennials was founded and the rest is history. <laughs> now it's funny because I've made over $100,000 the last two years of business and to know that I have no ceilings or limitations or any negotiations to do with an employer is really beneficial. So even though working for yourself may not be part of your career path, there are five questions that I ask myself that I think you can take if you are trying to decide whether or not to walk away from your current job or if you wanna switch careers. 
Number one, am I having fun? Don't think about anything else, just yes or no, are you having fun? And sometimes with anything, careers can be seasonal where you might be in a job and you're like, ugh, this is a really hard project that we're working on or a hard quarter, everybody's stressed out. But overall, if you're looking at the past year of work, are you still having fun? Number two, do you like the people that you work with? This is huge for me. I really, really enjoyed the people that I worked with at my very first job. But because the hours were so demanding and the work-life balance was off, and my income was so limited and strained, I had to walk away from it. Number three, have I hit my salary limit? Now, if you work in places like a university like I did or government position, you're going to see that there are salary and income caps that you might be faced with that's out of your control or out of your boss's control. Are you truly happy with that or would you like to entertain the idea of making more? Number four, am I ready for this type of change? I put this one on here because I think there are seasons of life where you may be thinking about a change, but it's just not the right time. For example, if you just had a baby, <laughs> holy cow, that may not be the best time to change jobs. Just think about all of the new things that having a baby entails and your life and your schedule changes. So maybe taking one change at a time works best for you. Number five, is this job something I'm interested in? Think about your current position. Are you truly interested in what you're doing, what you're promoting, what the company stands for? If this is something that truly interests you, then I think you might be in the right spot. You might just need to give it a matter of time or creativity to see what position you best fit inside of that company. If you're not interested in the work, such as when I was working for that cybersecurity company, I was like, you know what? There's something else. I just don't know what it is yet. What is that thing going to be? Be patient, stay with that curiosity, and maybe test the waters by going through these list of questions. Now, a good thing that you can do if you wanna test the job market is to update your resume. Maybe start networking and reaching out to your local network on possible opportunities. Remember, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And anytime you make that leap, don't forget about that old 401k and the possibility of rolling that over into an IRA with Capitalize. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to check out and I'll see you in the next one.